Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And today, this is gonna be fun guys, this is gonna be so much fun. We've got the brand spanking new at this time, Onyx NXK, and I'm gonna show you how to use it inside Onyx. Let's dive in. All right, so the Onyx NXK is a pretty awesome control keypad, which pairs excellently with Onyx on a PC or with an NX1 console, okay? Uh, it's got a lot of great features, and we've got an unboxing video. Check that out here. We also have a review video. You don't want to miss that either. Catch those on the Gear channel. Be sure you're subscribed. And if you're looking for one, of course, whether before or after this video, head over to Learn Stage Lighting Gear. Now. Let's talk, let's get down to brass tacks. I've got a laptop here and I've got an NXK. The setup with a laptop and with an NX1 is gonna be identical. Um, it's the same in the software. So it's as really simple as plugging USB in, so I'm plugged into my laptop here. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna plug it in, take the cover off, because the covers are free. Thank you, Oprah is of Obsidian Control, Oprah of Lighting Consoles. We're gonna plug that in on the back. The USB port is the only port on the NX1. Okay, uh, hopefully you can see that pretty good. Actually, let's just uh, switch over here. So here we've got the NX1 and it plugs in and by default, it's already connected in Onyx. Like if I hit clear, for example, um, or rather just hit fixture one, enter, and then uh, I don't have a fixture one, 101 in this show. Um, now I see that uh, we've got a fixture, we go ahead and give it some intensity, and I see that in Onyx, I see that I have my Onyx license. Um, it, as far as, you know, like setup, like we're kind of done, but we're also not because there's some options here that we really want to be aware of, okay? So by default, you hook this up and it's gonna come in Onyx and in this version of the software, it's set up as the screen encoder. So these four encoders across the top of the NX1 are across the side of the screen right here inside of Onyx, okay? Um, and so what that means is that those are gonna be fixed. It's always going to be the same. Now, I know there's already been call of a feature request to have it automatically, if it's just into a PC, become the parameter encoders. Those are the encoders here on the screen across the bottom that, that cover these encoder belts, okay? Uh, Sorry about that, laptop's having a little trouble. Okay, so how do we switch them between the two? It's actually really simple. So we go ahead into our preferences, our Onyx menu here into our main menu, general settings, and then we see right here, peripheral behavior. I think I said that right, NXK encoders. So by default, they're set to screen, but they can be set to parameter. So if we set them to parameter and head back out, now it's like, I've got my fixture, I'm on intensity here on the screen. I've got intensity control right here on my NXK. We see it moving up and down on the screen. But if I switch to pan tilt on my screen, now I've got pan and tilt control. Okay, we see those happening there. I need to set my encoders on this show file to dynamic. Now it works much better. Okay, I'm panning and tilting that fixture. So what's the difference between screen encoders and, um, and the uh, parameter encoders? So the parameter ones, like I said, you go in here and you're switching pan tail, color gobo, they're gonna switch with it. So that's your best choice if you're using just the NXK with a PC. If you are using it with another console or you've got another console on your network or something like that, you may wanna use the, the side encoder. So if we do that, I'm just gonna go set it over here real quick with the touch screen so I know you don't see the mouse moving. Set it to screen. The screen side encoders, as noted, are right here. By default, they're not always set up uh, depending on what version of software you're using. But you just right click right on these guys in Onyx, or I believe, I think you can hold edit and click. Yeah. And now you have like a billion million options as to what to set these guys to. Okay, so back to edit and click. So now you can set these screen encoders to any of these options and they never change. That's the beauty of them. So they're meant as a secondary encoder, but 
if you like the PC experience and you go, okay, I'm going to use on the screen these encoders and flip through the parameters and use those on screen. And maybe you want something that's always parked, always the same on the surface of that NXK, never changes, then you can totally do that. Okay. And so setting those up as noted, hold, hold edit and press the encoder or right click on that encoder. And then you just choose the parameter. So we have all our different parameter groups here. We can choose the parameter we want. Uh, and so say, for example, I had uh, this one set. Well, I have my, first, my last one set to intensity or my first one here. So the bottom most one here on the NXK is actually the bottom is the bottom most here. So the left is bottom most. It's like you turn this guy sideways like this next to your screen. OK, um, so you can set those to any of the standard parameters. You can set them to the effects parameter groups. OK, so that means that you can set that to like effect size, swing, speed, blah, blah, blah. Um, but that also means you can set the rates. OK, so the rates like the lifetime I use a lot. I use the global effects speed a lot as well, too. OK, these ones you can park permanently on this encoder and always have it during your event. So you can be tweaking it constantly and you can see the display of it on the side of your screen. So this is really powerful stuff. OK, there's also group control. OK. Um, now, this will uh, change all encoders to a group. I actually hadn't done this. Um, and so the group just means that it's it's just a quick set to go, OK, I want that to be the intensity parameter group always. I want that to be pan tilt always. I want that to be color always. So like a good example here is like I set that to the color group here. Now, these will always be the full co four color parameters, but Say I change fixtures, so I'm on something that's a CMY fixture. Um, it's a, oh, it's a Martin Viper. Um, but I go to something that's an LED fixture. Now, these encoders and displayed on the screen have showed me that they're red, green, blue, white. Okay, um, and so they're white, red, green, blue, yep. So interestingly enough, to me, they feel a little bit backwards, um, but you can assign them as they wish, with the top one being red, green, blue, white. Okay, so that's how you use the NXK. It doesn't take more than that. Uh, you can get started in like five minutes working in Onyx and it's a great tool if you need to be a little bit programming heavy or maybe you're on a budget and you want to have a good programming keypad and you add something like an NX Touch next to it to get physical faders but do it on the cheap or an NXP or an NX1. So many great options. I hope this video has helped you learn how to configure and get started. And if it did, be sure to subscribe here. And if you need any Onyx gear or any lights and you're in the US, Lauren Stage Lighting Gear is your Onyx experts. We would love to help you with your Onyx stuff. Or if you need lights and you need to purchase stuff, we're authorized dealers and we would love the, to be, and we would be so honored to help you with that, to be able to quote you out what you need and get it to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. See ya.